Yeah. We don't fit in Walmart anymore because we don't have our van. If this is the first time you're watching our channel, it's not normally like this. We're Jillian and Jonas, and after living aboard our 30-foot sailboat for over a year, we've decided to hit the road and travel across the country in our newly built van. Like and subscribe to follow along as we drive from coast to coast. Well, we were gonna go to a little coffee shop in Bedeck for some coffee, but uh, turns out they're all closed. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for traveling on a Sunday, but Tim Hortons it is, because we passed one coming in, so. <laughs> we have supported Tim Hortons a little too much throughout our trip. This is it, the beginning of the trail.
night two in the rental car <laughs> and uh, we're at our one of our favorite places the lovely Walmart Supercenter where Walmart. we will be <laughs> where Walmart. we will be spending the night <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna be spending the night here and yeah we were gonna try and make it a little further uh, but we hit some kind of crazy weird weather there's like this fog and rain and and uh, this car is so low we were getting like spray and we couldn't see anything on the highway so we just pulled in. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we're that's that's where we're at right now. That's life. Yeah, that's life in the rental car. Going out for dinner. Yeah, we saw Boston Pizza and we're going to Boston Pizza. <laughs> because we can't cook in the van or we don't even have the van. We can't cook in the car. We don't have anything to cook with. And it's late. We could go get some veggies from we the old Walmart. We could get veggies farm, from Walmart, actually. I don't really want to do that. The raindrops are making weird, like, shadows on my face. I can figure out what it was. Anyway. We made it. We made it, we made it. We made it. <laughs> Uh, it's pouring <laughs> and it's cold. We tried to kill as much time as we could in Boston Pizza, um, but it didn't last too long. I think we're the only people in there. <laughs> but what can you do? Walmart is just around the corner, our humble abode for tonight. It's cold. Ah, oh, Walmart. Hello. Did you miss us? We missed you. Man, I should drive into the car to pick up. No, Jonas. Out of the out of the rain. Out of the rain. <laughs> the car fit. Here's the parking garage for the evening. <laughs> no, we're not ready. We won't fit. <laughs> the question is, where should we park? Mm. Well, we've got a whole wide open parking lot available, so maybe over by the vans. Yeah. We don't fit in Walmart anymore because we don't have our van. People are just gonna think we're like weirdos parking our car right beside the RV place, but in fact we are park. staying. Um, yeah, this is really wide open, hey? There's the RV station. Where I like to park? Right here. Yeah, this could work. Got good. Good scenery out this window. How about yours? Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks good out there too. Frontal view, nice. And out the back. Oh yeah, we got an RV out there. Looks good to me. Beautiful spot to park our van. Jillian's getting a little silly. <laughs> it's been a long night. It's pouring rain, okay. We're in New Glasgow. And we just thought of a challenge that we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 8.30 right now, 8.45, I'll show the clock in a second. We're going to see if we can spend 12 full hours in the car without leaving in our tiny little car. We have, technically we have everything we need to survive in here. Mm -hmm. And nothing extra. Anyway, that's the challenge. Hashtag 12 hours in a mid-sized car in a Walmart parking lot. What are you doing, Jillian? I'm getting a bit organized. Mm. Holy moly. Okay. What? So this is what we do. So we have a twin-sized mattress, which is the smallest mattress you can get. It does not fit in these compact little cars. So we have to like fold it down, <laughs> which actually extends our sleeping room a little bit. And you create a bit of a pillow, if you can see here. It's, it's a hump up. Um, and that's how we've been doing that. I'd just like to say that if this is the first time you're watching our channel, it's not normally like this. We actually <laughs> spent like several hundreds of hours building out a really nice van, which 
broke down and it's in a shop. So this is what we're working with right now. Bed is made. Looking good. The 30 second flip out bed. It's nice and cozy in here at least. There it is, the promised land. Oh, we thought the Walmart was gonna be open later, but it closed at eight. We were planning on actually walking the aisles for some exercise. I've, I've locked us in. 8.53. Who are, the, who are these? Oh, can goodness. You, can you... Okay, so here's the deal. I love Walmart parking lots, and they've been really great to us, and yeah, it's it's been it's been fun time in them, but there's this thing where like every once in a while someone will park and shine their headlights right into our house. House, <laughs> basically, it's like um we're trying to sleep here. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I, I made it humped so our pillows don't slide down. Why do you make it hump? So we ha our heads are propped up and the pillows don't slide down. What? It makes sense once you lay down. Well, we don't want to sleep on a hill like this. How do you make it humped? I just didn't push it all the way down. Oh. Okay. Those headlights are still there. Okay, but seriously, I'm gonna put up a curtain. I need to find the duct tape. Okay. What are you doing anyway? So there's not much privacy in this car. And uh, the Walmart lights are ever so bright and so this is our curtain for the night oh that's actually really well. not bad that's yeah. actually not bad because the back windows are tinted so we don't like that's a little better but then we don't have anything like coming in our windshield that's not bad yeah jonas was doubting this 5 13. what do you think john it's early but we're going for the sunrise Going to Peggy's Cove. I'm going to Peggy's Cove for the sunrise. We're, how are we making out on our 12 hours in the car challenge? Sure, we've done good. We've slept for most of it. It's only been nine hours, though. Oh, brutal. Well, we I can't know. leave. Nothing's open. Walmart is fully closed right now. We're uh. going to spend our last three hours driving. Yep, we certainly are. This is the light we slept with. You kind of get used to it, actually. There's a lot of condensation in here. Yeah, it helps with the... Uh, you don't need curtains when it fogs up. Good morning, everyone. There's Jillian. in the dark and are exiting in the dark. The days are getting long. Sure. Oh, sure. And we're going to our second best friend, Tim Hortons, which is the only coffee available at this time in the morning. Hi there. Uh, could I please have an extra large uh, dark roast and uh, two large glasses of water. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. We're out of water, so we need yeah, some water. Um, no, I don't. Wait, yes, I do. Well, we've got our coffee, we've got our water. We're headed to Peggy's Cove.
Well, we didn't quite make it 12 hours, but I think we did just fine, if you ask me. Time to get out of this little car. <laughs> and we're super stoked about where we're getting out. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to pray While the grass grows underneath my feet A pure heart, kind of honesty that will always stay. Don't ever let him bring you down. What a terrible thing to say. My fingers out of sight Hello, 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 Mia I was lost inside a maze of night Hello, 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 Mia I stayed up and watched you till they story. And Richard told the sheriff something odd while Richard was coasting along Albion Road. The, uh, in the winter time, small icebergs form in the Bay of Fundy and sometimes they're deposited in the flats. Well, we are officially en route to our last destination in Nova Scotia before heading back to Halifax and pretty much just waiting for the van to get fixed. 
Uh, we're hoping it'll be fixed in the next couple days. So we're gonna spend some time in the city there and explore that by foot without vehicle. This is the last day we have this rental car. So we're really using it to its fullest potential. We put, we put quite a few kilometers on this thing. <laughs> Thousands. Thousands of kilometers. Have we actually put thousands of kilometers on it? Well, it'll be close to, probably close to 2,000. Wow. So that's how you efficiently use a rental car. That's Sleep nice. in it and drive all day. <laughs> to use it to its fullest. Get the most bang for your buck. <laughs> How much do we want? Like that much? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cool. Old school parking meters. I don't know, it's blacker than I expected. All done. All done, bye bye rental car. Thanks for taking us around Nova Scotia. Well, we've said goodbye to our little rental car. It was a great little ride to get us around Nova Scotia. Uh, we have a couple days in Halifax, just kind of exploring the city by foot before hopefully, hopefully the van will be fixed. Um, right now we're just kind of staying put until we can get her back on the road. The details have been changing by the minute, but slowly we're getting there. Uh, we're waiting for some parts to be shipped, which will hopefully be here within the week. That's the goal. Uh, but otherwise, we get to explore, explore the city in a new way. Mm, that lighting is not good. Yeah, well, how do you turn it off? That's a bit better. I'm so zoomed in right now, it's not even Oh funny. my goodness, Jonas. <clears throat> Don't zoom in on me! Why are all these lights on? I'm afraid for what the camera's about to see. Oh, oh god. I don't think we can put this on YouTube, Jillian. This is just so ridiculous. 